I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Random Pulls because we're going to take 28 and 27 random tiles, respectively, in three iterations and practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. That means two hands at once for Siamese Mahjong. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll start as dealer, and then we'll alternate to non-dealer. So we'll get 28 tiles, then 27, and then 28 again. Okay, we have a joker, three flowers, west-south pair of wests. We have a green dragon. In cracks, we have one, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, pair of ones. In bams, we have four, five, six, nine, singles. In dots, we have one, four, five, six, eight, nine, pairs of ones and nines. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play like numbers with ones and then five through eight either four through eight or five through eight consecutive runs. I changed my mind, five through nine. That way we can leverage the pair of nines somehow. We could even maybe play big odds, five, seven, nine. So here, we're gonna need one bam, but we could use the joker to help there. And down here, I would just gather five through nine, focus on nine, and see if we could play either big odds or five through nine of some kind in consecutive run. We have options here, eight discards with options for consecutive run. If you would do something different with these tiles, Write it in the comment section below. If I had to pick a hand, we do have one in here with no gaps. Six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine, nine, no gaps. But I wouldn't pick a hand. I would just gather, focus on those nine dots and see what other multiples form. We have a couple of jokers, news, with a pair of wests. We have a green and a white dragon. Then we have in cracks, one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, pair of ones. In bams, we have a kong of twos and a pair of fours, and then a single five, eight. In dots, we have a pair of fours and a eight. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play a news pair hand with either eights or fours 
and then a year hand, leveraging the two. News pair hand with either eights or fours. If we can get the four crack, then I would let these go. So I would discard those. We could play either the first hand under the year, second or third, if we can get flowers, of course. I would just gather. This would allow us to leverage that Kong. If we had flowers in here, I might consider a quint, but we have no flowers. We could maybe play two, zero, two, one. Second hand down. We'd have to let this go. I wouldn't pick a hand though. I would just gather. We have news with a pair of Wests. Pair of green dragons, one, three, four in cracks. One, three, five, six, eight in bams with a pair of threes. In dots, we have the full run, one through nine. We have a pung of threes and a pair of sixes. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play the one, three, five pair hand and something in evens. We kind of have three hands going because we could play east and west with dragons or even the concealed hand if we get other dragons. I would discard these first see about playing this one three five pair hand we would need to discard the three up here i would just gather two four six eight and i wouldn't pick a hand one thing i was thinking is what we might be able to do is keep east and west and if we get sixes we could switch to east and west with sixes hold this for joker bait so maybe discard these four first. Focus on two, four, six, eight, or east and west with sixes. That would leverage that multiple there. Siamese Mahjong is very challenging. Some people think it's too easy because you have all those tiles to play with, but you have an opponent with 28 or 27 tiles also. And so you're building two hands each. You're vying for the same tiles. The game is just as challenging as the four player game. If you haven't tried it yet, look for a link in the video description below to a demonstration and the rules. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.